my dad's make it hurt. what is going on my collar crew wow 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 what a day guys what a day i'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people that are just you know extremely extremely putting some uh upside down frowns for sure um as i know there's a lot of people out there that of course doubt the power of the collar crew and today is december 17 of 2021 uh guys book this and put this on the history books for the years to come because you already know is your boy jd bringing in the hotness and with the color crew we always have uh something spicy around the corner um of course as you guys know um we have our website completely up with all of the information that you will ever need and of course if the website doesn't have all the information that you think that you were looking for you are more than welcome uh to our discord to follow us and be able to ask any question you like and of course uh my main man morpheus architect and developer uh live with us tonight uh, Miguel, my man, I appreciate you too. Welcome to the stream. Uh, guys, anything you need, collartoken.com. And we have our documentation right here. You guys can just click through and really and really do a lot of research, you know, on your own. Uh, but we welcome any question. Our Color Quest Metaverse, as you guys know, extremely advancing and developing uh, very beautifully. Tonight, I actually have... Uh, really nice sneak peek that i was able uh to do and make together uh with uh you know some help and i was able to click through some things and i'm not gonna say much more but i was able to basically record and touch and feel um there's some people that are of course you know i'm not gonna even say the word as i say it in the video but some people have some doubts and you know when in doubt you shall and you shall receive. And here we go. Without further ado, I'm going to give out the sneak peek right at the start of the video. Um, I loaded it up and you guys can see for yourself. Um, it is very much real, very much live and, you know, being developed and being worked on. And we're going to receive a lot more information on the recent weeks uh, to come for sure. So stay tuned. So here we go. Let me play this. Uh, quick video for you guys. 
check it out. This was actually me, you know, playing around with this stuff. So here we go. Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy JD. We squashing some FUD and some haters. Here I actually was able to have a little sneak peek and able to show you guys how I can actually change the dimensions and how it will look on a tablet or a mobile uh, device. Um, you know, there's a lot of people saying that it isn't real. I actually was able, you know, to go ahead and see this UI myself and test it click on this check it out how i can just go through it has the same thing when you expand it um this is how to be on the desktop mode um able to go into the marketplace um obviously all of this is just placeholders it is not the actual you know live website yeah this is on the test net um here you're able to basically click on through the items you'll be able to see the breed counts under uh the number of the nft and you know the details that you would find from the nfts and also from our color quest ui and land going back to the dashboard can also go into the um how about i show you the account so when you go to my account you can actually see the temporary information um under here there's obviously going to be uh, inventory activity you know claim tokens that you either gain from play to earn and things like that um this is going to be you know really really revolutionary you know i can't wait for everybody to check this out there's also going to be the news and from the news you can actually go back to the home page my friends if uh you guys doubted on what's being worked on and what is real there is you know obviously much more things to be worked on but that's that's basically the startup you need a shell you need a ui you need something um to continue and of course as morpheus has said from the beginning the code has to be written and all these things have to have all these moving parts um because with a game there's a lot of information and it all has to you know map to each other properly and when you bring out you know several things in working motion um they they have to play in together within each other but our price action you know is looking extremely bullish um and of course you know the market right at the moment um it is pretty it is pretty down and for us to be you know growing at that rate and and people like seeing and understanding uh the future and the vision of this project is really refreshing uh to get that you know spirit and understanding into what it is of course there's a lot of other you know tokens out there you know trending moving up and things like that um but we're here we're caller crew baby we're much real our metaverse is as you know coming through fruition we also uh had some a uh, really good news today um that morpheus had turned into coin market cap the request to change our tags from meme token to nft gaming hashtag hashtag play to earn and hashtag metaverse so basically when people go into mark and coin market cap they'll be able to see those tags there uh hopefully very very soon um without further ado as well we also have a special guest uh joining us from uh the collar crew and is a very very good friend of ours uh his name is uh ricky ross so i'm gonna give him a call right now and get him up on here and uh we can have some discussions and uh see if he has any questions for me or see how we can you know start this up and and get something moving let's give him a call right now what's up jd my brother what is going on my brother ricky ross from the collar crew <laughs> how you doing baby i'm doing good man feeling feeling kind of euphoric hey man i appreciate you coming on to the live um it's really been you know <laughs> tough to swallow the the downtrend but uh thankfully we're making a very very lovely recovery and i know a lot of people that actually got on this dip is uh very very happy right now i know i definitely got a little bit on that dip how about you yep i got another 100 billion hey my man that's what i'm talking about <laughs> yep yep you gotta stack it man uh, um in the beginning you know once it was really high i kind of took a little bit off to kind of diversify my risk a little bit 
Um, but I always knew and I always had faith that Collar was going to come back because, you know, us being in the Discord and the Telegram and, you know, being able to see the work being done inside the chat was just phenomenal. You know, us being able to direct each other without ever having met before and becoming so close just through an online chat forum. You know, it's kind of amazing. Yeah, how about, um, uh, you know, like I met you obviously from right straight from the beginning um, when all of this started up. If you want to kind of like introduce yourself and, and, you know, say probably to the viewers how we met and and how this is like so such a true DeFi space. And it's crazy because it gives me goosebumps just like how we all met, how we came together, you know, from our architect and developer Morpheus from his vision, his idea and uh how we kind of gathered up and how how we just continued on from there if you want to give yourself an introduction and speak about that and also guys remember our videos and everything that we speak on here is really just truly our personal opinion and is not for financial advice and should should not be taken as one um just to give that note out there <laughs> just because you resonate with our opinions does not mean that we have given you financial advice <laughs> yeah so <for> sure. <laughs> without further ado um go by the username ricky ross call a quest academy on discord um i am partially doxxed in a sense that i have given members of the community out uh my linkedin profile my facebook profile my twitter profile pretty much any kind of social media profile you can have in today's age so you know i my intentions have always been pure and altruistic uh, i want to invest for me and my family to be able to live comfortably in this hyper inflating economy um and you know i was thinking about something right before we did this stream about how you know uh coding and software programming and you know tech stuff is coming back up really high kind of like how it was back in the, the early 2000s late 90s whenever oh, yeah, we first for sure like dial up internet and stuff like that you know it was kind of like the craze hey you remember you remember opening up those uh trial cds from the neighbors trying to get that 30 days on aol dsl <laughs> <laughs> Those were some funny times. I enjoyed those times with Napster and stuff like that. Hey, don't use that, by the way. <laughs> that's that's uh, neither here nor there, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, but man, it's 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 really like it's really true. Like just as you're saying, and it's like the metaverse is and then the web with the web three uh that is stepping up i mean it's going to be extremely extremely revolutionary and and you know especially with stuff that is having the uh what do you call this the meta the metaverse format and the web 3 how they integrate and how much more you can do with that and how it's a decentralized internet basically everyone out there is going to be owning a piece of the internet it's going to be yours like it's no more ran by you know one company owns every single portion of this or that you know the internet is going to be owned by you know a lot of these metaverse tokens and uh you'll be able to dive in and whatever you have there you own it and you're able to publicly sell it um the same as the hype you know for the metaverse land uh that's gonna be pretty huge um, especially us as dog collar token, uh, we have our own metaverse and we'll, we'll, we will be having land as well, which is great. Yes. And you know, the features that, that Morpheus and, and the team have, have incorporated into the game, um, for as far as passive income goes, I mean, you know, you got some projects out there running what it is like 0.3% or 3%, um, you know returns and stuff like that and higher returns back towards the project um in the way the tokenomics have read you know most of the contribution is going to go back to the holders and the fact that we're going to be able to use that in the game it's like a cyclical uh what's the best word i can use to put this it's like it's like passing money around in large sums 
to everybody in a circle connected like a chain link only every so often the amount that's in that circle increases and then over time as the circle gets bigger you know so does the distribution and that that's kind of uh, that's my own rendition of the way i can explain it um but and and what do you what do you think you, so we know that goji swap is coming up how excited are you for goji uh, how, how does that open the doors for like the collar holders, you know, because that's one of the questions that everybody, you know, starts saying, OK, so what if you need tag to buy the NFTs? What is the point of then holding collar? What does it do for you? Uh, what is your answer to that? And I'll give you my piece of answer on, on how I um, also interpret all the information that we've received. Right. So as far as the staking and the farming is concerned, from my view and the way that I interpret it, um, whenever you stake and farm your collar, you're going to be able to receive rewards paid out in tag. And with tag being the new governance token, um, it'll it'll essentially get the people who have been in collar since the beginning. Uh, I, w I wouldn't say a better chance or more exposure to it but they have the entry they have the key for the door so whenever you use collar you're putting the key into the door to open the door to the rest of the ecosystem to the partnerships that we've well as far as right now the partnership that we've achieved um and you know many more in the future probably you know we'll see <laughs> totally totally uh, is that but, oh sorry is that your answer or you you continue well, it's like it's like the door that's opening up to the room that we're going to get into to play inside of the metaverse. Think of it. Think of it as the door to the metaverse, you know, in, in a I can see more metaphorical sense, in a metaphorical sense. Um, but and that's that's why I see it as, you know, being a benefit of being collar crew and holding the collar token. Um, and the more you allocate to the collar token, the more governance token that you're going to receive. So it's a win-win and an incentive to to get into it while you can, not financial advice. Of course, of course, never financial advice. This is just for educational purposes only with my man, Ricky. So guys, so another, the, the cool thing is in my perspective, right, is that once Goji drops, of course, you are holding collar. So the more collar you have, and then essentially the more uh, rewards you're going to have as you have collar and obviously as the price uh, action is going to be moving up and people will be buying it as you're holding it um you'll be able to then start receiving uh, those tag and rewards now the only other thing is that a lot of people don't understand is that we are a metaverse and we have three native tokens so those three native tokens of course the first one will be collar second one the governance token that will be a uh, tag and then the third one is going to be our main play to earn that is it's called gem so that gem token is actually going to be a really really big part on how you get rewarded and how you get your passive income but not only that collar is going to be used to actually upgrade the sparkies that you buy from tag so inside of that same ecosystem people are going to be then purchasing and having you know these tokens and it's going to be put in back into the reward system again because remember 75 percent of all sparky sales are going to go back into the reward system for others right so back into the ecosystem and 20 percent of that goes into the reserves and then five percent of that goes into the matrix wallet and this is all explained guys by the way inside of our documentation so if you go to the official color token.com website which i'm showing live right now and you guys press right here docs um right under here there is tokenomics and under tokenomics it really gives us a very you know extensive uh you know written out way for you guys to ingest this information of course as you know ricky morpheus really really detailed out um all of these things here and it, there is a lot of information um 
So uh, here we go. Morpheus is actually live with us and uh, he's writing out. So 20% plus 75 plus 95 goes back to the hodl of the token. So there you go. So a 95% total of every NFT sale of every interaction within that metaverse. It's basically coming back to all of us who are holding uh, the token in some type of way. And this is coming straight from Morpheus live right now on our chat. And, uh, you know, Ricky, you know, what, what do you think about that? Like, I mean, which other project actually can say that it is an LLC? So we are a business also. We are a complete business now together running under a DAO. So all of us who hold X amount of collar have a word in it. And then we are obviously going to phase into our new governance token tag um, 60 days after the liquidity event of Goji. Um what do you think about that? That's a crazy, right? 95% back to all of us, pretty much. I mean, you really can't get any better than that. I mean, I, and I'm not trying to be hyperbole about it. Um, I, like, you really can't. You really can't get any better than that. You don't see any of the uh, percentages like that on any of the games out there. You know, it's... <laughs> I can't explain it any better. Mor Morpheus has really outdone himself with the documentation. And I mean, and it's, it's crazy. People, people like to FUD about how nothing's going on. People are in the chat, not doing nothing. And they're talking about, uh, you know, what are they doing about this? What are they doing about that? And it's all claims that come out of nowhere. They don't do any research for themselves. They they just, you know, rinse and repeat what other people say. And it, it really bothers me, especially as an admin in, in the Telegram. And JD, you, you've seen it too. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, you know, we call them haters, right? <laughs> so, you know, haters is going to hate. I mean, you know, we got to just call it straight out. Unfortunately, people that, you know, probably... Are, are just feeling some type of pain because their token didn't do x y and z and uh they just they just feel like they have to say something negative about something else but we here in color crew you know we don't mind you know i i really appreciate because they actually give us uh, a little bit more of a push or of an incentive of always wanting to do better. And that's why there's always something better out there than something else, because you have that type of push, um, you know, where, you know, other people just take something and just want to put it downplay it, you know, without actually doing the research, as you say. You know, yeah. it's very easily, you know, all the information is out here. Everything is fully transparent since the beginning. I've been in color since day one. There hasn't been a question that hasn't been answered by anyone. And as I grew with the color crew, um, as you know, I made sure I educate myself so much that any platform that we're on, either on the Telegram, either on Reddit, either on Twitter, um, either on the YouTube that you see me, you know, going on, either on the Discord, any question, if I'm not around, somebody is going to answer in some type of way. And and that's beautiful to see, you know, not just bashing you, throwing you down and, and just saying whatever, you know, it's just either, you know, go ahead, do your own research. We have the documentation or we give you a heartfelt answer if we have the time to write it out, which is great. Yeah. It, I just, I, I really am euphoric about this project. Like the, the, the community is, you know, especially the ones that, that stick with the group and help out and try to educate people that come into the groups. Um, and it's important to do that. You know, instead of, you know, hyping up something to pump and dump, you mm -hmm. have to be more, more focused and detached from your emotions. And, you know, I feel like the, the team and everybody involved in a lot of the stuff that we, you know, we've been doing through Discord and Telegram, you know, we have the right mindset. We have the nerves of steel. We have the diamond hands. Hey, I mean, you know, we've been, we were up into the old time high and... I know a lot of us saw it go all the way up to an all-time high. 
I tell you this is definitely very tempting, but as we know how beautiful and how true the project um, has been thus far, we definitely diamond handed through it all. And we see, you know, ourselves seeing a really, really lovely recovery. Uh, I mean, it's really amazing to see. And I have here on the YouTube, I don't know if you're seeing also the YouTube live on the, on the main page, uh, what I have on the screen at the moment. Do you um, see it? Let me check. I gotta, uh, open it back up. I was doing some solid stuff to some people were sending me messages. I was trying to answer them. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, so, so while you get that up, basically what I have open is, uh, you know, a very pre look to the, uh, land and how the land blocks, you know, uh, kind of will be and fit in uh, certain, you know, NFT pieces uh, also. So you guys can know uh, there's a little basketball court down here, a building over there. You know, these uh, little pieces of land or, or, you know, and like how it is portrayed, like let's say the basketball court. We have um, OpenGL, right? So it's a 2D, 3D format, and it's going to be also web-based. Of course, as uh, Morpheus stated, it could be a full, you know, API and could be uh, an application uh, that integrates inside of Google Play or even, you know, iPhones um, into the Apple Store. But the beauty is that since it is a 2D, 3D, you can basically be walking around in the 2D format, right? And then click on that basketball court and I can put in my, my virtual uh, headset and we can play basketball on the virtual side on 3D and actually play as if you were playing a one-on-one -on -one or maybe in a team, you know, basketball game. That is exciting to me. What do you think about that? The, the 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 ability to be able to switch on and off is a is an excellent feature in my opinion because it takes that detachment from the metaverse um and you know being in new technology everybody wants to to get into it and they want to stay in it they want to get it and i know i know you're one of them because i, I want to stay in it too for a little mm, while yeah for sure <laughs> but I actually recently watched a documentary that uh, kind of gives uh, some of the health concerns over the metaverse and, you know, staying inside that that virtual reality like that with like Oculus and stuff. Um, and it's definitely I'm, I'm just trying to bring about some safety real quick. I know it's kind of weird and off the wall and far fetched, but I wanted to let people know that you have to have that detachment. You you can't stay in there forever because it will really really weigh on you and it will drain you down it, so i know we really appreciate that's that's very very important so guys don't ignore that um you know health is key so you definitely don't want to be stuck to your headset for x amount of time but the beauty of that that you said that right you know what's so nice about it is that um Color Quest Metaverse is being so diversified and there's going to be multiple mini games and different games um, in specific. So I had a little talk with Morpheus. So not just only um, will you be able to play these type of games that jump you into that Metaverse and you can definitely stick on, right? But there's going to be so much incentive to walk around your land, to do different quests, to basically go to different parts of the land that has also different other mini games that will attract you to make passive and also if you want to partake in the staking and the farming that's also gonna give you you know a balance into getting out of certain games being in real life communicating to people or even the cadet program right into the academy uh you being a manager having your cadets there's always going to be kind of like more interactions more things to do so it's it's even positive right that it gives you all of these different little things that you can make more passive on but also kind of you know takes your mind away from only gaming 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 and farming uh that amount and if you go to the documentations there's also a limit uh that you can gain of gem so it also makes you kind of like okay so i did all my quests i did all my tasks for the day i got the maximum amount then i can go ahead and then do this yeah because i mean you know we want to we want to 
try this technology. We want to try it and, and, you know, stay in it and get used to it and develop a routine, a strategy. But really, you know, a lot of times we take health to the back door and, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of that myself. Um, the fact that I just had back surgery, I, uh, you know, I, sorry to bring this back to the beginning. Uh, but when you asked me the question about introducing myself and stuff, I thought of some other stuff that I can kind of, kind of put out there to get people to put a, um, uh, kind of like a sense of reality into this, that, you know, we're real people. We're not just, you know, some people who like to create projects and run them up and then dump them. You know, we're real people just like you. We got into crypto normal blue collar working nine to five people and yeah, you know exactly and to secure some income for our family and the generations to come so that's that's how you know we're trying to build something genuine you know we're not trying out to scam people we're not trying out to to be any kind of swindlers or rug pulls or nothing like that this is totally 100 percent genuine hard-working community work that is being done by people almost exclusively for free i know i'm doing it for free i don't know about everybody else but i um, i've also i've only i only enter the space as well as as an investor and uh yeah. and pretty much you know i definitely diversified my portfolio in the beginning um it, it was just you know there was so many tokens being brought up at the time at the same time with collar actually and uh I opened up my doors to so many different things and, and I've always, you know, if you guys go through my YouTube, I spoke about of all these other projects and heck, the projects have done amazing as well. All the other ones that I've spoken about, um, you guys can go through them and, and they're doing well and, and I believe in them. They're great. But I definitely focused uh, my portfolio very, very heavily uh, on collar myself personally. Again, not financial advice, but I definitely put a lot of chips uh, in here. And uh, not and not only for that, yeah, I'm doing it for free. But yeah, like, you know, if you are invested heavily in a project, you want it to do well. So that's why I always make sure that though I'm genuine, I'm non-biased. I make sure that everything, you know, is as clean and as organic as possible. Uh, you know, I, we want that connectivity, you know, with more people because obviously the games evolve and the games grow with people if we only have a few people um that it that holds you know big bags or this and that that's one other thing why i i could have gotten more tokens in the beginning I, it was very easily for me to do that and and yeah i had a thought in mind but the reason i didn't is because i want to make sure yes i have a good amount of tokens or something like that but you want to also, you know, be humble. That that was my idea behind it, uh, per se, right? Um, and I want to make sure that we grow together. We have like an environment where everybody is happy. Everybody is getting in. And we're so early into this project. This really is still, you know, uh, very uh, on the baby side to what a metaverse is. Because if you look at all these other metaverses, you know, we are very... I don't know. We're a very hidden gem, per se, in my perspective. I agree completely. You know, this was a diamond in the rough when I stumbled upon it. I'm not going to say how I found it because apparently it's an issue with those people. But anyway, I, uh, I found this project and I initially invested a, a decent amount of money, but nothing too crazy. Um, and, you know, I was like the 26th holder. I mean, I know, I know, JD, you got a position pretty close to that too, but, um, yeah, I was, I, I was 19 <laughs> and yeah. I, and it, and it just, and it just, I, there was a YouTube video that came out since it was part of SHIB. Uh, you know, I was SHIB army first for sure. And I mean, I saw the video and I was like, Hey, I missed, uh, Ryoshi's release. <laughs> and I was like, this, this is going to be great. This sounds amazing. Um, uh, Obviously, you know, we wanted it to be part of a leash and we wanted to make a pool because, you know, yeah. how do you walk? How do you walk a dog uh, with a leash and it doesn't have a collar on it? So that was kind of like my my same feeling right at the start, for sure. <laughs> Being honest right there. <laughs> yep, yep. That's what I was saying. I was all down to create a, a collar leash pool. But 
you know, in the end, I ended up seeing the bigger picture. And at the time, it, you know, with the, with the, I guess the environment at the time, it, it probably wouldn't have been the best decision anyway. Yeah. At the time. But, yeah. But hey, was, and our doors never closed. I never heard of any doors being closed. I mean, there's a possibility for anything. Our main swap is Shiba Swap. And where where everybody is pretty much buying the bulk of the token, and fifty percent of our liquidity was burnt to Shiba Swap. For those that are new here, you know, and it was big bid up. What that means, it's basically fully locked in there. So there is zero percent chance of any rug. Like nobody can can there's no there's no nothing like nobody can take all the money and that's what makes it also uh so unique uh that it was purely you know locked away uh the whole 50 percent of the supply obviously this is less now because people bought it up and 50 percent of the supply was also burned uh to the ship contract and you guys can go into the main web page and actually see it for yourself you can see the burn you can see the liquidity drop and you can see the code um and if you go into the ether scan that I'm showing right now inside of a uh, uh, collar from e from the ETH side, um, you guys can see that the first one that comes on top, number one, is Shiba Inu contract. Nobody has access to a contract, so that means that this is burned uh, forever. Fifty percent of the one quadrillion supply is gone. Never to, to return. Shit. Yeah. So, uh, I, when, sorry, brain fart. No, nah, no problem. <laughs> um, I, I, I wanted to kind of elaborate a little bit on the, the beginnings. The, uh, when I, when I invested into Collar, it was probably August 22nd or August 21st. Can't remember which one it was but um not that long after uh hurricane ida came through uh where i live like pretty much directly over us and we had lost internet for a while i didn't have no service no wi-fi no nothing so i'm sitting here and i'm like all right i guess my investments will be okay i just hope nothing happens to it so <laughs> i just you know kept on pressing on we we dealt with the hurricane we kind of you know cleaned up everything did some damage control and then we finally got up internet what's that you can hear me oh yeah i can hear you okay okay you can hear me fine or yeah 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 i was just i was just um i was just wondering if you could hear me because something went on with the mic oh okay sorry about that yeah um i could hear you uh, so when the hurricane, you know, came and came and went, we cleaned up everything, got, got a tree cut off my house. Um, and you know, the internet came back on, which is weird how it came back on. Uh, I don't know if y'all know this, but when cell towers go down, they deploy cell, cell phone reception blimps that just kind of float around the, the area and give cell signal. Uh, from a from a baseline down on the ground. So I got internet back. First thing I did, I checked my collar. I was like, I wonder how it's doing. I'm I'm expecting it to be like, you know, three fifty, whatever. Oh, this is when you and saw the when this is when you saw the big rise. <laughs> like literally, it ten xed. It ten xed. Yeah, that was but a that was a really hype run for sure. That was after the first 10x because it had 10x like two hours after I, I invested into it. And I was like, holy shit. And then, oh, sorry. Pardon my language. <laughs> uh, and I seen it and I was just, I was blown away. So when I seen that, I'm like, this is definitely something worth investing my time in. So I joined the chats and I kind of poked around and I seen JD in there and seen morpheus and then uh bitcat and neil and a few others 
and then that's i mean the rest is history and the rest is history hey i'll tell you something real quick too so i actually had some friends um you know uh, about a week after i had invested and it had um done about the same same thing um it it it, it went up a bit and you know i had some friends they invested about 50 100 bucks each and you know when when we went to our last all-time high you know they were seeing you know double digits you know a couple of over 10 grand and they just put 10 to 100 bucks that that made me you know obviously super super happy and and of course you know as as these things come you know of course the price actions and things like that for the developer and for the architect of course you know you don't want to see the price action going down you always want to see it floating up but you guys have to understand you know everything that goes up must come down and when it comes down it must come up there has to be some type of trade there has to be a buy for it to be a sell and there has to be a sell for them to be a buy and you know of course we you know people get a lot of heat we're like oh my god i bought at this price range so you're always gonna get into that and that's why we always say it's not financial advice you know we know if we if we feel like our product if i'm holding x amount of tokens right and it goes to one price and it goes to the other price and you still see me at the same amount of token it's it's not because of us it's not me it's other people and it is a free open market and people have to understand that side too that it is okay if you need the money and you bought at a certain price and you have an exit strategy per se that is crypto you go ahead and you do so now are you going to get you know short-term capital you know gains or things like that it is what happens um everybody has to attain the responsibility of your own choices and uh you know we're all adults here uh and we will be playing you know some type of young uh you know environment game and helping other young ones uh actually you know proceed because one of the main things that i'm really really attracted to right now is really uh the cadet program right uh the academy color quest academy is also a real thing and you know it is going to be one of the greater things that you can actually rent out your nfts that means if you're not interested in playing the game uh and you want to be a good you know um a decision investor in my opinion right uh that would be me if i didn't play video games and i wanted to make a good decision i would buy some sparkies and then i will go ahead and see how i can find myself a good cadet so you need to have you know a little bit of socialization in that aspect and you and your cadet will be making passive income so this is something else that is really 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 big uh on that end you know what do you think about that uh yourself because i'm i know i'm gonna have a few sparkies and i want to be able to help you know others around and of course you can also have uh you know that type of communication and you can make it whatever percent you want 50 percent, you want 60 percent, you want 30 percent, you want 10 percent, and vice versa yeah so this this is probably my favorite part of the collar token project and now the the tag our collar tag or is it it's tag collar right tag collar llc or is it collar tag is um tag dow llc i'm thinking chronologically it's unfortunately how my brain works <laughs> but it is dog tag so it's dog tag dow llc <laughs> if you want to say like the full full name <laughs> but but yeah i can definitely understand what what you mean there if we go into the documentation right here on the uh on the main page uh when we do open docs.collartoken.com uh all of the information is written out as for the tag dow llc which makes us a wyoming usa llc uh, which is a DAO and the file number is there and you can actually click on it and it will take you to the file number uh, which is so transparent as well I mean is is it is truly you know something 
that I haven't seen in a lot of tokens. A lot of tokens can't can go ahead and show you this live, you know, and tell you go to this main web page, part of us, and you can click here and you can see that we are a business and a decentralized autonomous organization fully uh dubbed uh color quest per se. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I uh I, I'm really interested in the cadet program, though. That, that's that's really one of my, my main focuses because I, I really liked how Axie Infinity did a rendition of this with the scholarships and stuff like that. Uh, but I feel like this is a grand slam compared to that because whenever, whenever you introduce your kids to a gaming system of any type, just, just to put this out here, it's another off-subject thing, but it ties in. Um, the fact that you're going to have a collar, I mean, a, a cadet program, especially with your own kids, like in your situation, JD, mine are a little bit still too young yet. Um, but whenever you get them into the program, it can immediately teach them gaming discipline, um, which is really important for children. And also at the same time, it'll teach them fiscal responsibility. Mm -hmm. So, you know, something that... 95% of people these days don't learn in school. So the fact that they can do it on the internet, on their own free time, having fun and earning money at the same time, it's, I mean, it's just a win-win-win all over the place. There, there's, I see no downside in it, honestly. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. And, you know, we're, we're not taught certain things. I mean, imagine if, uh, if finances or financial, uh, academy, uh, had some type of you know an involvement um it would be it would be pretty much you know an advancement to to the social world because uh young kids come out um and they know how to deal with some real life you know money situation out of school but that doesn't exist uh sadly yeah it's 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 kind of sad but at the same time whenever we go to teach people these things because you know i know we've talked about it before and you know in voice chats but i have a feeling like me and you were made for this to to educate people um i've always been the kind of person that likes to teach people things especially in the way that they can understand so the yes, fact that yes somebody can come to me are you, you know, if, cause I'm, I'm always willing to help people. I, I get satisfaction out of helping people successfully. Like it's literally my thing. So, I mean, you, you know, we, we have, you know, our daily lives, we have a family, you know, I have three kids. Now I have a, a puppy that I take care of as well. Um, uh, thankfully I do work from home and um i work in it so it makes it a little bit easier for me to be able to just go ahead and hop into certain socials while i'm in my day job and just answer a few questions or just stay up to date and read um in between uh, my daily work um but yeah i mean we are definitely here we're about to wrap this up actually um uh ricky if you have any last words or any last comments or thoughts or or anything that you want to say before we uh, wrap it up? My, my final thing is whenever you look into a project of any kind, such as Dog Collar Token, you always have to have an objective mindset to be able to discern any kind of red flags. But don't let paranoia take over you or take you over because it's what you know, the whales want, essentially, they want to scare you out of your position. So don't don't let people talking all kind of nonsense get to you, because in the end, it's their opinion. Their opinion doesn't drive your money. You get to spend your money however you feel fit. Your your wealth of knowledge, however vast it may be, whoever you are, wherever you are. Just make sure that you know, you keep your funds safe because I want to join on another chat with you one time on a video too, to uh, talk about that maybe in another video in the future. But keep your stuff safe and just do your own research and 
verify and don't trust yeah for sure well ricky has been a pleasure uh you're like uh another another family member for sure you know we're we're all family here at collar crew always supporting each other and uh you know being that you know foundation and that ground to always you know talk with each other in moments of of anything because of course we're human so we always will have doubts on certain things uh as long as we have each other uh we'll pretty much will be backing each other up um i mean imagine uh, becoming so you know close and united um as a as a crew and building something from the ground up together and then having others uh that also feel that type of you know organic resonating uh you know kind of passion uh for something that other people in in the same mentality are also growing in that way and then we're all all able you know like how you always hear everybody huddle 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 <laughs> which is you know kind of like the the funny thing but you know we all like huddling together but also growing together and and smartly putting our chips to play where we're all growing uh you know at a good rate and not just kind of like uh, bashing each other or you know basically giving people some fear of some certain things but we grow and learn from each other because we're humans nobody is perfect nobody's gonna make the perfect decision and only you have you know the power to change you know your decisions and your say uh of course everything is welcoming and we cannot be collar crew if we don't have you we all are the collar crew you know and the more they come the more we become so we're just here just starting up and so much more to come i see so much positivity you know the open sourceness that everyone will be able to basically with the sdk programming on map mapping and giving you the ability to basically create your own nfts and being able to monetize that on the land on color quest being able to play land sell everything on a peer-to-peer -peer, you know uh system or even outsource and and open sea and things like that is just giving you basically what I, what you own is yours and you do as you wish and you're welcome to it i love it time to bank the unbanked yeah for sure well my brother ricky you already know i have much love for you and much love for my collar crew and everybody hopefully we are talking what we have you know hundreds of uh tens of thousands of people let's let's put it that way first right well, let's get to the 5k mark <laughs> but hopefully we have tens of thousands of people then hundreds of thousands of people and hopefully we can reach you know a 1 million and beyond collar crew mark hodl and uh you know together to a wonderful future and to much success to you your loved ones your friends families and everyone you know obviously you know we're not here to basically uh just spread something to like make a quick buck this is about actually uh creating um the beautiful community which is already a decentralized uh organization and it's an official business it's an llc so you know there are some responsibilities there and there are some you know standards to be met and so far you know with morpheus and and all the talks and all the meetings it's just been so you know heartwarming uh to see the kind of work he puts out and the, the type of you know dedication to every single little thing everything uh, i remember he said something today on the discord when somebody asked oh uh, have you done this or what is this yeah. or have that been done and it was a yes 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 and yes yeah. <laughs> i like that <laughs> yeah. it's like it's all done it's just in, in in limbo right now you it's know? it's it's all done guys you know all of the exchange huge huge exchange listing guys like this is already there it's it's already in the works we're just you know waiting uh for a couple of little things to kind of like probably click into that puzzle and uh give it that awesome you know entry and then the news once we get it we always receive it um i also have to say uh some beautiful things are coming soon so keep keep 
keep watching. I don't, I don't know if you know, Ricky, but you know, there's 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 some sparky news coming soon. Is all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah. And and I just wanna I just wanna end off on a note like this. I'm gonna badly sing a song that I heard in the '90s in reference to "It's Been Done." <laughs> it's all been done. Ooh. Tell me if you know that song. I do not. <laughs> but uh, you did try and sing it beautifully. Actually, I appreciate the effort. <laughs> a, it's an A for uh, for effort for sure. <laughs> Hey man, you gotta gotta throw some entertainment out there. I'm I'm willing to put my humility on the line for a second. <laughs> no, no, we love it. We love it, my friend Ricky. Um, hope to have you back uh, at some later time. We definitely um had a really nice talk and uh, involved ourselves very very nicely. And uh, you know, I hope all the viewers that were here, if you guys uh, learned something from us, uh, to give us a you know a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe. Um, it'll help us push the information forward and for people to actually see that, you know, behind the scenes, we have communications like this uh, between a lot of the group members that were, you know, first hodlers per se. And, uh, you know, we're pretty close to to one another and in, in, in a lot of different aspects. And we really just want the success uh, to grow for every single person uh, that gets to meet us, that gets to learn about, you know, the collar crew, because we we say we because um, truly we are decentralized and you can say we as soon as you become part of the collar crew, you are we. So everyone is welcome at any time uh, doesn't matter the investment a lot of people ask also you know how much is good enough hey you're here you're early uh we're very small cap at the moment especially for a metaverse if you guys just look at three metaverses and then look at us as a metaverse and say no more <laughs> so much love though uh, ricky thank you so much everybody you guys have a blessed night that is all for today Oh, and JD, hey, I got one more thing, buddy. Yeah, yeah. For the for the for the next episode, if I if I decide to make an appearance and JD allows it, <laughs> I'll uh I'll talk about my recent MetaMask hack. So keep your stuff safe, and uh, have a good evening, everybody. All right, good evening. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Ricky. Everybody have a safe night. Remember, not for financial advice, only for educational purposes only. Trust in yourself. Invest in your future. Crypto is the future for sure. Good night, everybody. Good night.